How's it going? Got a different one for you. This isn't your normal gameplay for me because I'm going to do a reaction to scary videos. Maybe I'll do this in the future and do different videos. The videos you will see are from Nuke's Top 5. And this one is 5 Ghosts videos so scary they should ban TikTok. So scary that they should ban an app. Why? What's the app got to do with it? But anyways, without further ado, let's get into it. 3, 2, 1. <gasps> scary. Top 5 Ghosts Call on Camera I'll be the judge of that Randonautica Revisited You might recognize TikTok user Matt Hall from a previous video I did I don't. about Randonautica Nope So I saw this thing that a lot of people were doing on TikTok called Randonauting It's an app that you download Yeah, I've been told about that It gives you a completely random location close to you that you go to and apparently it's supposed to be a glitch in the simulation or something like that Or a coincidence I don't know, I was talking. <laughs> Let's go back a second. What the f was that? Holy shit. Is there anybody here? Uh, call bullshit on that. <laughs> yes, I think I just heard something. Now I know it's bullshit. Listen. Watch. Listen to the little boy girl's voice. Clear as day, right? Clear as day. You can hear it. Want to play a game, right? Listen to his voice. Guys, I think I just heard something. Guys, I think I just heard something. And he didn't say it loud. It was, guys, I think I just heard something. You clearly heard it. <laughs> Anyways, let's carry on with the video. Now, since his terrifying encounter in the woods, Matt Hall claims this is a good start for him. An even more horrifying encounter at his job. At his Matt job, okay. It followed him home, did it? When he was working the overnight shift, a security camera at his work started beeping. Mm. Now, the security camera has motion sensors and only starts beeping when someone or something Beep. disrupts the sensor. Naturally, Matt immediately went to check the camera. He was chilled to the core when he saw this. Or he realized how many views he got and likes and comments on his TikTok, so he made another video. Be the one of those. There's literally somebody outside, like dragging a bag at my work. No, sorry, I'm just recording in case something happens. Seriously, I'll let it play. That I'll say my, <laughs> I'll say my things at the end. I, I can't see, I can't see his face. Where's he? Come? He's literally running down to the door. He's coming up to the door right now. <laughs> Oh my fucking god. He's he's outside the door. He's outside the door right now. No, there's nowhere to hide in here. I'm literally it's just this one room. The door yeah, the door is locked, but Oh my fuck. He's like behind the building now. I don't I don't can you just get here please really Matt frantically calls 911 to summon the police. While on the phone with the emergency operator, the outdoor CCTV camera records a man dragging what looks like a trash bag right in front of the building's exit. Matt says that the police came and searched the area oh, no surrounding one. the building, but they couldn't find anyone. Even more baffling, the garbage bag the man was carrying was simply stuffed full of old clothes. So was this encounter somehow connected to Matt's previous randonauting experience? Was it even real? Or was it just a TikTok hoax? You decide. Let's break it down, shall we? First off, the first video where he was in the forest. Clearly bullshit, because you can clearly hear the voice and he goes, I think I just heard something. You clearly hear it. If you go to security camera and you see someone dragging a bag, you're not Matt this scared. To check. There's literally somebody outside. Why is he shaking that someone's pulling a bag? Like, this can't be edited and made into a thing. He could easily made this himself. That is him standing there pulling that bag. Where's the security footage of all the police coming? Where's the security footage of them searching? Just gotta take his word for it, I guess. <laughs> yeah, this can't be faked. Like Whatsoever. Why is he so scared? Look, he's done word. nothing wrong, I mean. He's just dragging a little bag. He's done nothing scary whatsoever. He's using his 
phone to record. So he could have another phone. There's a phone right there, but he's not using that one. He's using his phone to record, so he must have two mobiles on him to record. You could say, well, it's a normal camera, but how? It's in landscape. <laughs> no cameras really do landscape unless you do it in the phone. I don't know. I don't really know cameras, but you would never have a camera in landscape for no other reason. Think about it. See. Oh my f***ing god. You could easily kick the bottom of the door. You've got to be sceptical about these things. Most of these are just bullshit. Most of them are bullshit. Good editing skills. This one's not very good editing. Where does he work? <laughs> Looks really weird. On to the next one! They had pretty much given up finding anything. When they suddenly spotted a mysterious flower and a plaque on a tree. Okay, also, warte, warte, warte. Wir haben eine neue Intention gesucht. Also wir haben eigentlich ohne Intention gesucht. Ja. Er hat den Point angemacht. Und wir waren irgendwie so mitten im Wald. Ja, quasi. Ja, der ist, der ist der Radius. Wir sind halt direkt da beim Radius. Ja, der Punkt ist da. Ja, wir sind auf jeden Fall im Radius. Und ähm, jetzt haben wir die Gegend abgesucht. Also ist so ein kleiner, so kleiner Weg. Wir haben die Gegend abgesucht. Hier ist halt nichts. Hier war halt nichts. Bis wir eine Blume gesehen haben. Ich filme das mal. Hier ist, das, hier ist halt so ein Schild. Tilo, guter Freund, Ruhe und Frieden. Das haben wir erst gar nicht gesehen. Aber jetzt achte aufs Datum. 24.07. Welches Datum haben wir heute? Sag's mal. Wir haben einfach den fucking 24. Junge, Mann. Vor wir zwei Jahren. Wir haben, das war genau, vor genau zwei Jahren. Wir haben das fucking gleiche Datum. So, this is a one way. Let's see a sign that was two years ago. Something happened to someone two years ago and they had the exact same date. Well, not the exact, because it's two years prior. A could be a coincidence. B, it could be their sign. Ey, das kann doch kein Zufall sein. It can't be a coincidence. <laughs> Reddit user Overhype13 says that after he did some extensive Google searching to find the man named Tilo, who passed away exactly two years ago on the exact spot where Randonautica sent them, he wasn't able to find anything. Almost sounds like they did it. That there is no way the Randonautica app could have known about the memorial sign that shared the same date as their exploration. This mysterious incident remains unexplained. Coincidence? I'm more leaning towards it's their sign because they see that stuff like that pops off. TikTok <laughs> user Tyler Vasquez says that after watching many strange videos. And also, TikTok should not be a credible source of real things. About the Randonautica app, she simply had to try it out for herself. The app gives her a location about a mile and a half from her home. So she travels there and documents her experience. The oh, location she, nice. she is led to is a secluded creek, surrounded by woods. What happens next is downright chilling. Oh, she looks nice. Alright, so I think I gotta go. This way down a creek. But, hang on. It wasn't that voice, that was it? They are literally next to... She is li literally next to someone? Just on the other side of the trees, because you can hear a woman talking. Listen. This way down a creek. There's literally someone right next to them. Alright, this is what I found so far. Pretty creepy. Water on the bridge. I'm gonna go see what that is. Okay, so I just opened up one of the photos, and it's whatever the f that is. Hang on. Then we have I'm gonna have to, sorry, I'm gonna have to go back. I'm gonna have to go back. You, you could see that photo was already open. That, that, that wasn't a photo, it's a, a piece of paper I've drawn on it. You could already see it was open, so she did not open it. Then we have these random three. This one's a It's Your Birthday with the snowman with. I don't know. And these two I just put together. It's like, play with me. Alright, I think it was just my imagination. I think I'm just hearing but. Trying to read these. I swear I'm friendly. See, the, these are just too. They've, they've played too much Slender Man or something because the paper is just too perfectly ripped. You know? It's not just a thing. It's Why would they rip the corners and then scrumple up and throw it away? It, it's just too. I think you can tell these make them themselves. This is probably not the best scary video to react to first. Taylor finds creepy dress. I guess I have to listen to again because I've talked over it. I swear I'm friendly. Play with me. <gasps> Taylor finds creepy drawings scattered all around the rocks that look like they have been drawn yeah. by a child. 
Then she hears the unexplained voice of a little girl and just runs. When Taylor Vasquez All right, posted her video just to be a TikTok, little girl. her viewers suggested that the creepy little voice actually says, you hide and I'll find you. Play with me. Play with me. After many requests by her viewers, Taylor returns to the creek three days later to find out more about the strange drama. Hang on, I've got to analyze that bit first. Play with me. See, this is my problem with it as well. That the audio, right? Her audio is close up. The, the little girl's audio, she looks in the direction where it is. It doesn't get any louder. It doesn't seem to get closer. It doesn't seem to get... It doesn't seem to... It's, it's always in the middle of the camera. Is that, I don't know how it makes sense. If you've got a camera and record someone in a distance, they would sound like they're over there. You have to... It, when sounds like it'll sound like it's coming more to your right ear than it is straight down the middle. Yeah? Getting it? But this is in, in the middle all the way. To me, which says... I don't know the technical terms, so don't, don't let us... Don't... I'm not a smart person. <laughs> so take what you will from that. The audio is in the middle all the way. It doesn't sound like it's over there. It sounds like it's there constantly. Think about it. Go and record something yourself. Record something talking over there. And see how it sounds. Carry on. Mile back to that random hunting spot. Brought a flashlight as a weapon this time. The flashlight is weapon. There's no one around me. I'm trying to go quick so that I don't waste too much time. These drawings are creepy as I feel like I should just grab them all really quick. If they have messages on them. Because then, like, those look like symbols. So, hang on, she didn't hear that, that them voices at all? So grabbed everything. I don't really see anything else. She did. The voice <laughs> is there again. It was there a second ago. Now quieter, and Taylor doesn't really hear it at first. The soft little voice seems to say, "You're not my family." You're gonna die if you don't go. They have messages on them, because then, like, those look like symbols. How can she not hear it? It, it clearly picks it up in the camera. <laughs> on the cam on the bloody phone's microphone. Yet she can't hear it? I don't get it. <laughs> it, it clearly picks up on the phone, so it's got to be loud enough for it to pick up the phone. Anyways, Taylor collects TikTok, more your source is scary stuff. Scattered around the area. <laughs> but then the voice gets louder and says, I don't really see anything else. Like... Later, she posts her video, and when she reads the viewer comments, she makes another shocking discovery. Okay, so I don't have a lot of time right now, but I saw this comment and I'm kind of hyperventilating, freaking out. Why? This girl posted that she saw a child in my video no one was with me yeah. and tell me if you guys think that looks like a ghost child I can see a face but your brain can do that because I can also see the bushes behind it which is a part of it you can see yeah this bit here is part of the face there but this is called what's it called see I'm not smart I have to google it this is what it is pareidolia pareidolia Granted, it kind of looks like a little girl. I can put it down as... A, what's it called? Paridolia. I'm going to keep that name up just in case it fucking stays. Paridolia. That's what that is. Skeptical. I would love to believe in stuff like this, but TikTok is not going to be your, your source of horror. Let's carry on. Because I don't f***ing know. But I didn't know if she photoshopped it or not. So I went to my videos and I screenshotted the exact part that she shows right there. And I see the face too. And so now I'm actually freaking the f out. I'm super terrified. I don't know what to do. I didn't see anyone or hear anything until that voice happened, but it just sounded like an echo. So I don't know. Can I don't know. You guys tell me what you see, but that right there looks like a fing face to me. How are you doing? Yeah. Now, what do you think Taylor caught on camera? Is it real? No. Or is it just an elaborate hoax? 
you decide. I think that's just put the papers and everything, and then just lucky enough to hit something that looks like a face in something. <laughs> See anything that you think should be included in the top five? Contact us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Well, it wouldn't be stuff off TikTok, What's I'll tell you that. Window? CJ from the YouTube channel CJ Long Crow's Logs is exploring the abandoned and allegedly very haunted Crow Creek Reservation you know, High School in Stephen South every, Everyone, in, everyone in this video, in I will try and link in the description. Has a very dark and Even the TikTok history. was if I can find them. In 1886, the Catholic Church set up a boarding school for Native American children on this land, and then basically forced the reservation Even. children to attend. From the day the boarding school opened, the land seemed cursed. Crops and trees planted on the grounds wouldn't grow. Random unexplained fires destroyed many of the buildings. And the schoolhouse was directly hit and almost wiped out by not one, but two different tornadoes. Well, the tornadoes time, could be a web, the, the web apps. would simply rebuild the boarding school on the same ground. One of the school's darker stories involves a nun named Sister Wilhelmina Kaufman. That one specifically. On January 12, 1888, during a blizzard, the nun left the school building to go <clears throat> to the laundry house next door. Never seen again. Even though the buildings were very close together, she got lost in the blinding snow and couldn't find her way back to the school. The next morning, her body was found kneeling in the deep snow. She had frozen to death only 100 feet from the school's door. Sounds like a movie, I know. Not to modern day. People who the live Shining. near the Crow Creek Reservation High School report seeing many strange and frightening things. It is said that the terrifying apparition of a nun can be seen roaming the grounds, and some claim that they have seen dark shadow figures wandering the school's hallways. CJ Longcrow happens to have a friend that lives on the Crow Creek Reservation. So this right isn't a TikTok. To the allegedly haunted school. So not only was CJ able to explore the abandoned building, but he spent the entire night right beside the creepy school grounds. So early in the night, CJ and his friends head out to explore the school. They find some strange graffiti on the walls. That's and just even graffiti. More bizarre, a floor full of dead birds. Holy f Okay, it's just a Those are dead birds? Oh, what a shocker. But even more alarming are the aggressive living birds and bats that have made their home inside the abandoned school. <laughs> Sound like something moved down there. Here, let's go, let's it's like they could have nests and could attack. <laughs> oh, f oh, f oh, f oh, f oh, f oh, f do oh, that. That's a fucking owl, bro. That's a fucking owl. Like the higher they are protecting their home. Like <laughs> oh, f <laughs> and also they could be scared of you, so they're trying to get yeah, out. Just but get you're in the way. Fucking birds on crack, dog. And it would be scary if you had a, a bird phobia. Bird and bat attacks, the guys decide to finish up their exploration and just exit the school. But the creepy story doesn't end there. I was gonna say that's it. Birds. Now, as I mentioned before, <laughs> CJ is sleeping overnight in a house that is right next to the abandoned school building. So late that night, while his friend, oh, I don't understand why there's a house right next to an abandoned school building. Friends are sleeping. He decides to take a walk around the haunted school grounds. Alex, the friends it are always sleeping. The friends well. are. Everyone... Friends are always sleeping. Friends are always splitting off, and then then something happens. Hmm, could it be a friend that happens? Now <laughs> is asleep. So this is gonna be random noises. Or they're gonna, he's gonna see a figure out in the end of a hallway, oh, dude, like, it's so which will be I his friend because they're not asleep. Stories like just so many stories of like. I just, I just can't. <laughs> but it is pretty f***ing creepy out here, alone, you know. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I was waiting for someone I'm to be at the wall. At there. Oh, f bro, 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 CJ spots some shadowy figure walking by the abandoned school's third-story window. He freaks out and runs inside to wake up his friend Phil. Asking him to join him to go check out the strange shadow. Where's his other friend? When they reached the third floor window, there was two. There was three friends. There was two friends with him. Where's your one? <laughs> Where CJ saw the figure, what they find is truly bizarre. Okay, guys. This, so this is exactly. Yeah, this this can't be fake exactly whatsoever, can it? Gone, 
That's exactly where the fuck I saw it. Where's your third friend gone? Uh, hold on, let me see inside there. Custodian? Closet? Yeah. Maybe, uh... Now, even though the shadow that CJ saw seems to appear from one side and walk quickly past the window, there's just nowhere to walk. There's a concrete wall. Yeah, but there's enough gap there for the person to stand to start walking. Yeah, because when he's walking up to the building, he doesn't look at the building once. The only time he looks at the building is when he sees the face. Well, he sees the, the hood and he puts it back down again. And he looks back up and the, the hood's gone and then it walks across. You gotta think of these things. You can't just say yes, ghost. You gotta think of what it could be. On one side, I think of a logical explanation. And a tiny empty janitor's closet on the other. <gasps> I mean, if it was so real, where did the shape go? I would probably shit myself. Did but... CJ Longcrow see one of the strange shadow apparitions that are said to haunt the Crow Creek High School? You decide. You can check out. CJ's well, I can explain them. If I can explain them, over on his YouTube channel, they're not real. In my head, they're not real. Logs. I can't explain it. Disappearing act. Then it's a bit of a. Yeah. User Edgy Christian Hopefully, I get one. And his girlfriend were exploring but I can't explain how it could be. Baltimore, Maryland. When this happens. I almost hit that. F Yo, this f***ing place is crazy, bro. Oh, mom's. What the f Babe. What? Where are you going? I swear I just seen something. Don't f inside that. Please don't tell us that. Oh my god. Are you serious? Look, watch. Oh, Wait, I've got, I'm gonna have to slow this when? down. Watch. Yeah, this is On the wall here. Crazy, bro. There, you see him come out of a room. You see him come out of a room. <laughs> oh, mom. And all of a sudden he's there. I don't think he was probably meant to catch that first bit. Then say, well, 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 Bingsy, how, 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 how can you, how can he, not be in the room when he gets there? I'll, sh I'll show you my explanation how he could have edited this. And you go here, the door, the door shut. The person's behind the door. There. Did he see it? I'll play it again. A lot of movies do this. A lot of camera tricks do this. He looks left. The door shut from the right, Minder. He looks left. The door shuts from the right. Okay? So obviously someone's behind the door. He looks left, for whatever reason. Hey. So if he looks left... Spins the camera. He can take two shots. You go to spin the camera. Person gets out the way. Spin the camera again, and at a certain point... Cut the video. So as you're spinning, it's at the old video, then cut the video, there, spin it, continue spinning, new video, no one's there. It, it's editing. Bro, what the f***? <laughs> he turns just in time to catch a dark figure moving through one of the doors. But oh. when he follows, there's no cut. one there. See? If you Edgy do it, Christian it's hard to tell. doesn't necessarily claim that the video is anything supernatural. And he says that it could have simply been a homeless person living in the building. But why? But who shut the door? But if this was a person, then where did they go? Yeah. Let it's, me know what you think. It's edited. You could see him come out of our room Can't beforehand. Nowhere. The popular YouTube Urbex channel Exploring with Josh travels to what is rumored to be an abandoned summer camp in the Catskill Mountains of southeastern New York. Okay. The remains of the camp are in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by woods. Josh and his friends explore the mysterious site and discover that it was a former religious summer camp for children. Turns out, the religious camp was built in the 1950s and operated for at least 15 years before being abandoned for unknown reasons. As Josh and his friends enter one of the decaying buildings on the property, Money. they find a strange surprise. Yo! Blair was left what? by accident in Josh's video. Okay, so that's what the hell? This is creepy. How's no. it? How's it creepy? It's kid stuff. This is a fine. For real. What the heck? Who did that? Do you think explorers did it, or it was just left like this? Either satanic ritual cult people, or maybe explorers. 
I don't know, guys. This is freaking cool. Oh, it's maybe arts and crafts. <laughs> Dude, who really hung all this up? Kind of cool. I like it. Josh splits off from his friends who are taking pictures of the abandoned buildings. Right. Well, While exploring see. alone, he finds a broken down RV. Always oh, alone. He goes inside to take a look and accidentally Always alone. captures something <laughs> chilling. Jeez. Well, there is nothing in here. Did you see it? He's alone, mind you. His friends are somewhere else. Anyways, if you didn't see it, I'm going to play the video. I'm, I'm assume, assuming it's going to zoom into it. The bed in the back. I'll let you see it yourself. Yeah. It caught my eye. Okay. <laughs> That's enough. Did you see it? Well, Josh didn't either. But soon after he enters the he RV, did. a mysterious small hand can be seen hitting the skylight on the roof. Now, Josh didn't notice the unexplained little hand, but when he posted his video to YouTube, his viewers were shocked. Some of them think that this could be the ghost of one of the children that stayed at the camp long ago. But what, what do you think? Why that is clearly an adult hand. Is this a ghost accidentally hand. caught on camera, or simply one of Josh's friends? Mess that is clearly an adult hand. <laughs> sing around, and if it is one of his friends. They certainly have tiny little hands. Watch your step. Hang on, I need to go back on this. First off, that is not a tiny hand. Do you know how I know you noticed? Because they do the, the same thing. You see a quick glimpse and he zooms in. So you don't see that anymore. In here. Takes it off and then he zooms in. So it's like, oh, I caught a quick glimpse. Didn't see that. Anyways, let's move on to the next one because that was. Do you think? <sighs> is this a ghost accidentally the, caught on camera? I've, I've picked a really bad one to react one of to. Or Josh's friends messing around. And if it is one of his friends, they certainly have tiny little hands. Watch your step. Fringe Paranormal like Explorer that. Oz from the YouTube channel Project a big Activity hand. travels to haunted locations all over France to investigate and record proof of the paranormal. In this episode, he investigates a house that is said to be <laughs> extremely I think this video is getting us actually mad. <laughs> the house's owner, who wishes to remain anonymous, says that both of her grandparents passed away inside the home. She claims that after she moved in with her children, she began to experience terrifying paranormal activity on a daily basis. Every night when she would lie asleep in bed, she says that she would be woken up by the chilling sensation of something stroking and caressing her cheek. Even though the nightly event frightened her, she believed that this could be the spirit of one of her grandparents, peacefully watching over her and her you children. piss off and let her sleep? But then, one night, something happened that changed her mind forever. Just after Fair midnight, enough. as the woman lay sleeping, she was suddenly jolted awake by the feeling of her bed frame violently shaking. The entire bed seemed to levitate off the ground and then seemed to be forcefully thrown a few feet across the room. The woman now no longer believed that this was the peaceful spirit of one of her grandparents haunting the home. Okay. She believed it was something much more dark and sinister. Like feet. Something that might wish to harm her and her children. The family moved out of the house the very next day, and the home has remained empty ever since. Paranormal investigator Oz from the YouTube channel Project Activity investigates the mysterious house to figure out just what is haunting the family. In yeah. his investigation, he uses some very unconventional tools, one of which is a small piece of paper placed inside a plexiglass box. The idea is that no wind or air currents can move the paper inside the box. So the only way it can move is by something supernatural. Oz is setting up a second device it's, in the same room. It's got no lid on it, so we can still get to it. If the lid's open, it's just going to add more of a vortex, because <laughs> the wind will go in. It's like a draft would go in and kind of create a vortex so it would spin. You need to put a lid on it. Which I'll get back to in a second. But as he prepares, right behind him, this happens. A red arrow. The piece of paper inside the plexiglass box mysteriously moves on its own. Oh, Oz doesn't it, notice it, it, it continues it, setting it could up be the vortex second, of rather a. unusual device, a theremin. 
The theremin is sometimes used as a musical instrument. Right, anyways, before you start talking about that, that could be a vortex of air, or it could be a contraption that actually spins. I know you don't want to think, oh, well, the person fakes it. It uh, doesn't fake it, it's it, but the could to get views. You don't understand how much people make off YouTube of loads of views if they are partnered. They will fake stuff. But it can also be used as a sensor. The theremin creates a tone whenever someone comes close to the antenna on top of the device. This is a theremin, it's an electronic instrument. Mm -hmm. You produce music or sound yeah, I've heard by of waving them. your hand into an electrical field. So not long after Oz has set up the theremin, something very strange happens. Right, let's hear the sound. See, the way I can explain that one, hard to explain, but as it changes cameras, because he's got three cameras, the sound is exactly the same. So he could have took the sound off one video and just played it over the three videos. But if he was recording from different videos, the sound would have changed with the three. The camera quality is exactly the same. Uh, he could have edited it in, yeah. I thought it was all continuous what movement, but not he does cut and then go to a turn it off. Watch. The sound doesn't change. Between the three cameras. There's a cut. There's a different sound. He walks towards it. Hey. It can be edited in. That little cut kind of makes it a bit more unreal to me. Right, I need to make a... See, to me, it sounds like the same sound as the other one. You make your mind up. But it starts exactly the same. That means that would something would be going... Very slowly, twice. But yeah, he just went close with it and it went now, just a bit freaked out. He continues on. With I don't know how the way properly, but I can, but I can, in my head, I can. Whatever was messing with the theremin isn't done with Oz yet. I can see how that can be fixed. Oz claims that something pulled on his pocket flashlight and broke the strap, causing the flashlight to fall hard to the floor. Well, that could just be... It could have just snapped. That could have been a coincidence. And things like that happen all the time. <laughs> and also, it's a metal thing, so it's going to hit the hard, ground hard. That's what could happen. It could have snapped. But then things get downright chilling. Shit, myself is making flying through that door. I know that much. Sound effects, man. See, that one's harder to explain. This is a wall right behind. 
Unless I have to look. A strange whisper can be heard, and a door behind us slams him in the back. In size could be edited. Throughout his investigation, Oz has managed to stay relatively calm, but what happens next even frightens him. Right, with that door, it, the way I could explain it, it's his foot, because you don't see everything. You can't just take everything at eye level. You have to. See. If there was a camera in the corner showing his full body. That's what skeptics do. They've got to think of other ways they can do it. You could have easily done it with his foot. He might not have. I'm not saying he is. But you could have easily done it with his foot. You need the full picture. This is how you've got to take it away. Did they push him? Yeah, that could easily just him Mais being il faut pas, il faut pas him ça, being quoi. if he is actually thinking that it's scary. It could just be his head that he's he's wearing heavy stuff. And also he could have just slipped on the stairs and then the ghost hunter gets an unexplained push in the back by an invisible force and almost falls down the stairs. But the woman told him about the dark intentions of the could spirit be that fake. haunts the home seem to be true, as he has been attacked not once, but twice, by something he just can't see. So, is this house haunted by some dangerous malevolent spirit or demon? Could be, Let but... Let me know what you think down in the comments. So, that's Nuke's top five. I'll try and link everyone in the description. Now... I can try and explain most stuff away. The TikTok ones, I, I, I wouldn't even take that out of a grain of salt. <laughs> they are just bullshit. But anyways, let me know what you think about this reaction. Let me know how you think about this reaction videos. Uh, I might do funny ones. I might do memes. I might do whatever reactions. But let me know what you think. Or I'll do more of these ones. So, anyways. If you like this video, give that like button a bit of a tickle. Smash that share button. Fill the screen. Subscribe on the see by me. And as always... They're freaking awesome.